Hi Doug, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson today. First thing we'd try and change at setup is these forearms or shoulders. You can see here, yeah, I can see your left forearm, but only through looking underneath the right forearm. If we look at Paul Casey here, we can see his right or his left forearm, it's above his right forearm. So that's showing that his shoulders are matching his feet. Unfortunately for you, your feet are on one line and your shoulders are on another. And that's dictating to me that from that position there, you can only swing a little bit steep. You can only swing left and across the ball and sort of hold the face open through the handle and hit these sort of what I'd call weak, spinny cuts. Uh, it's an exaggeration of it. So let's run through the swing. Takeaway goes a little bit low and inside there. So nothing terrible, but it is a little bit low and inside. I'd like to see that hinge up a bit more. Backswing there is a little bit low, so left arm's not matching the shoulder plane. We can see this right shoulder there. If we look at Casey as he takes it away, uh, one, we're going to see the club head stays a bit more outside his hands. As he gets to the top, that left arm matches his shoulders, Okay, and you can't see his right shoulder at all compared to yours. As you come down from this position, Doug, unfortunately, the shaft for me just gets a bit too steep. Now, it looks okay here with the iron, to be fair, compared to driver, because it's cutting through the forearm. But for me, that left arm is too advanced. That's so too out and away from you. If we look at Casey as well, as he comes down to that same position, you'll see that his left arm, if we draw a line, it matches his feet line. Uh, and you can see there, yours does not. So it's just a little bit steep. Club's coming into the back of the ball from too straight a line. Uh, and then from there, you have no room for error. If you're 0.1 of a degree either way, you're, you're missing the target by 10, 15 yards because uh, your path is too straight. Where if you're always swinging on a slightly circular path, i.e. from the inside, and you had a little bit of closure with the club face, you'd hit a much uh, more consistent shape. So things we tried to do, the first thing we did was we put you against a wall. Okay, We asked you to miss the wall as you took the club up. Okay. Uh, and first of all, you started to cheat and move your arms out this way. So you're going to miss the wall on the way up, but put something on the outside of the ball just so you take make sure your hands move in and the club stays out. Okay. Uh, on the way down, you're going to clip the wall. So we want that club shaft to now hit the wall on the way down. And the last bit of the jigsaw was we put a stick here. We put uh, another object here on the inside. Is forcing you to swing out to the right and release that right hand. So try and turn that right hand over. We want to we wanna get you swinging out to the right. Think about kicking a ball or hitting a tennis ball. You would swing the racket or your foot around the ball to hit a little soft curve, uh, curve shot. And we can see here, you test tend to swing left and hold the face open uh, as opposed to swinging out to the right. So miss the wall on the way up, hit the wall on the way down swing out to the right, release that right hand, and you start to hit some lovely bullet draw, especially with the driver, and your follow-through will look extremely different to that there. That's like a hold-off, where if you look at Casey there, he's finishing that lovely little box finish there, clubs wrapped around his neck. So work on that for me, Doug, and uh, we'll get some great results. Thanks.